This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com The whole uh, controversy over the Moolahs slash Market Basket has triggered a reaction in me that, that I find interesting to, to observe occurring in me. For those of you who've been under a rock or don't live in New Hampshire, an almost unprecedented thing happened uh, in the corporate world in New England. When a board moved to remove its CEO, the CEO of Market Basket, uh, it seemed as though the entire infrastructure, the human infrastructure of that company, the, the grocery store chain, rebelled. They loved the CEO that much. And, you know, anytime you go to a market basket, there's somebody on the scene protesting. They've got it covered 24-7, every single market basket, as best I can tell. And there are, you know, probably, I don't know, there are probably 30, 40 of them uh, around New England. Well, I did not find myself drawn to covering this or talking about this at first, because, first of all, uh, everyone else is talking about it. And sometimes, there are occasions where I will talk about something because everyone else is talking about it. Because I, I know that that that's a guaranteed subject to get lots of traffic, right? That's, I guess it's not so much the case uh, with a regional New England issue compared to a global issue or a national issue. So, so that's one thing that's kept me from talking about it as much and uh, getting involved. But another thing is that I guess I have this sense that it's, it's sort of handled, you know, because if everyone else is already dealing with something, that means I don't really need to be dealing with it, right? I should be... Uh, striking the enemy at a place where he has not been struck before. Uh, what, what was it Sun Tzu said? Uh, appear where unexpected. So, you know, there's really not that much of a place for me uh, going to an event that is already well covered by the mainstream press. Uh, now, if I've got questions that I can ask or f things that I can photograph that other people aren't photographing, it's different. You know? And uh, that, that's certainly the case, like when... Uh, you know, Barack Obama comes to town. I can provide a whole different kind of angle and a whole different sort of coverage from what the mainstream press will give you. And it's also going to look very different from what, you know, average YouTubers are going to show you. So I have a place there. But uh, do I have a place, uh, you know, covering the market basket thing? I mean, I don't have super strong feelings. Uh, you know, no one, to my knowledge, no one has initiated force or harmful fraud. So how can I, how can I be super angry? I really liked market basket the way it was in, in uh, uh, you know, April of 2014. But to know for sure that the board is wrong, uh, I would have to do, you know, research and how do I know for certain that they're wrong in firing Arthur the Well, it's just, it's just a lot more complicated uh, than I, what I see is the really simple issue of whether someone's initiating force, harmful fraud, uh, you know, almost anything the government does. I know I can get angry about that and do something about it that no one else is doing. I just don't know in a market basket situation. It's just too much more complicated. The, the, the board is not forcing me to pay for what they're doing, as best I can tell. Maybe I'm missing something. Yes, my instinct is to be supportive of the CEO uh, because I see how many other people are. And, and how many employees do you know anywhere that are loyal at all to their CEO? Most people can't stand their CEO. So he's really something special, obviously. On the other hand, is that triggering profits? for the company, or is it preventing profits for the company? But if you're really good to employees, it might hurt the bottom line, I don't know. Really like the way everybody handled themselves that I dealt with. I went and I've shopped there some uh, since it's been, uh, you know, the strike or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's been going on. Uh, and the, um, you know, the, the demonstrators never gave me any grief about going in. Uh, all the employees were nice. And, uh, they seem to be doing their best to keep uh, the, sh the shelves as stocked as they could. It's definitely what was worth going inside uh, in terms of uh, being able to get deals that I don't get anywhere else. They had free bread, actually, at the exit. Uh, so <laughs> that, that was a surprise. Uh, mostly just the, the prices were just normal. But anyway, just some thoughts on... Uh,
uh, this thing that everyone else is talking about and getting active in. And it was really weird. It seemed like a role reversal to me to be in this situation where I was sort of semi-apathetic and just all these other people were doing all the heavy lifting and the entire society, the entire society seemed to have come together to right a wrong. Um, and, and I was kind of on the sidelines. I, I haven't felt like that in a long time. It was kind of a comfortable feeling, strangely enough. You know, would that, would that liberty were handled and taken care of in such a manner. Keene, New Hampshire, the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at freekeen.com believe this is the place you should be if you believe in peaceful non-cooperation. Freekeen.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freekeen.com